My name is Doug Orlaw. I'm a retired Navy chief. I'm also a retired licensed optician in the state of Washington. And we're going to talk about shooting with both eyes open. And kind of being detailed and showing you why you have to be concerned about it. When you look at your eye over here, you've got your lens and you've got the field back here which is like a camera or like a TV set. And you have 37 million rods and cones back there. Now those 37 million rods and cones are like pixels in a camera. Except that in a camera, all those pixels are evenly spread. On the back of the macula, it's not evenly spread. You have light uh, rods on the outside edge and rods and cones as you come in. And then you have the highest concentration of rods and cones in the macula. And the problem with that is your brain says, okay, I, I want to put all the images right in the middle of the macula. And if it's the image you're looking at or concentrating on isn't right there, then you see double. And it's really that simple. And when you shoot, I'm going to come over here, and you have one eyeball here, one eyeball here. And if you're looking past 30 feet or farther, or 20 feet or farther, then your eyes aren't converging. But anything from 20 feet, and that's why we test you when we check your eyes, at 20 feet. When, what happens when your eyes are looking at something closer than 20 feet, your eye turns in like this together. So it's putting the macula off to one side, right here. And this one turns and puts it right here. And what happens is the light coming from the point which would be in this case be your front sight, is going to be one image right in the middle of the macula on both eyes. Now what happens is when you focus on something further away, see this angle here? Well now the angle is less than it was with the first thing. And then you go further away, and this angle gets even less. And in each case, the further away the eye turns so that that puts that in the middle of the macula. And you can imagine, your eyes are only about 50 millimeters apart like this. So imagine how small that angle is from 60 millimeters out to 20 feet, that that little angle is really narrow. And it's so narrow that it's almost as if it were parallel. So from 20 to 30 feet out, you actually see one image everything that, that far out. And that's why when you're shooting and looking at your target, you only see one target. Unless your eyes are turning in to see the front side post. So when they're turning in, you have a choice. You can see one front side post, and you end up having two targets coming in in the wrong place. Or you turn your eyes out so that they can see the parallel light coming from your target. Then the macula moves over, and it's centered in the back of the eye, and you only see one target. And the only reason you only see one target is because your eye turned. So your brain has to decide, do I want to see the front sight post and see two targets, or do I want to see one target and see two front sight posts? And in my other video about the occluder, you can see how that works. Now this is what happens. This is why you see double. And this is why when you have the occluder and your eyes are turned in, and they're looking at this front side post. And when I occlude that post with this little bitty thing right there, what happens is the eye relaxes and turns out since it doesn't have to focus on that to see it because it's not there. And your eyes turn out to the parallel spot. It takes and puts the target right in the back of the eye on both eyes. So you only see one. And you only have one front sight image so you just line that up with the target, and now you have three things in the macula, which is the point of most acute vision, and, and, you, and you see better. I've had people look at this site, and they actually think that it's clearer. But what's happened is it's just more defined, because instead of having wide pixels out there, I've got a whole bunch of concentrated pixels, or rods and cones, and I put it right there where it belongs. So that's why you see double. That explains what's going on. It also explains why when I occlude this, 
the eyes quit turning in, they turn to parallel, and they virtually see one target and the macula on one eye, one target on the macula of the other eye, and then one front side post, and no second side post because I occluded it. And the occlusion, somebody might think, well, you're going to see the occluder. Well, you do see the occluder. But the occluder is at a different distance. So here's your front side post. And then here's the occluder halfway down the barrel. And your eyes back here. Well, your eyes, your brain recognizes what you're focused on. And this is back here, which is really no different than the side of your gun. Or uh, I mean, you've got the whole side of your gun and everything. You don't see that image as a second image. Actually, you do, but you don't right, recognize it. So when I have your front side post out here, I put the occluder here. Your brain says, well, I'm going to ignore that second image of the occluder because it's not at the same distance. So you only see one front side post. And you only see one target. And it solves that problem. And it does give you better visual imagery when it comes to your sight post. And it does it without occluding all of the vision that's coming in from the other side. It's simple, it's small, and it works. So thank you. Today I am going to show you something that I've developed myself that has to do with shooting with both eyes opened. When you look at what I have drawn up there, you'll see the two options you have. With your eyes, the way they're designed and the way our brain works, you have one option, which is where you focus on the target, and you end up with two front side posts. Then you have option two, where you have, you're focusing on the front side post, and you end up with two targets. Now I'm going to go into more the reason behind that in another video, explaining about how the eye works and the detail. But for right now, you need to see what these options are. Options that we've had for years. Most people just close one eye. And you can see if I close one eye, I've solved the problem. Except that you can see that I don't see anything off to the right and it creates a different problem. And in tactical shooting, you need to be able to see the full field. Then I can put an occluder out here and that works quite well. I can design one on my glasses, but all of them, you can see, cut off your peripheral vision. Now, I've designed an option three, and I built an occluder that's actually on the gun, and all it does is occlude the sight post you don't want to see. So now, because that sight post is occluded, your brain says, oh, I've only got one front sight post out there at that distance. It does see the occluder, but the occluder is at a different distance, so it can ignore that. And it deals with one sight picture with one target and one front sight post. It not only deals with just that, it also allows your eyes to quit converging in to see anything, and it allows parallel light to come right into focus on the back of the eye. So this way, you're not just getting rid of the second image, but you're allowing your eye to place the image of the target and the front sight post right in the middle of the macula, which is the highest and most acute vision that we have is right in the middle of the macula. So it improves actually your ability to see your front sight post and your target. Even though it's not focusing, it occludes and then places it in the right part of the macula. Some people have picked this up and they will say, well, gee, it looks clear. It's not really clear. It's just a little more defined because I placed it in the middle of the macula. But focus is a different story. That's something that we can cover on another video. But the reality is now you have three options instead of two. You can say, okay, I want to look at the front sight post. So you have option two over there, but you have two targets. And now you've got to lear learn how to ignore which target. And when time is involved and you need to see it right away, that is an issue. Or you have option one, which is I'm going to focus on the target, and then I'm just going to learn how to ignore that second front side post. So I can work on that. Or you can go option three and say, okay, 
Look at that. I can just look at that and I can see and I'm comfortable with it. Now, if you just watch this video and you look at the difference between one and go over to two and three, it really does show you exactly what happens. And it really does happen this way. It focuses on the back of the eye. And again, I'm going to go on another video that shows you how the eye works and explain this in a little more detail so that you understand that we're not just blocking something, but we are also placing imagery in the right spot in the back of the eye, allowing you to see, and we're not occluding or eliminating what you see on the right side. You can see here that with this one, you can see that everything over here, and short of getting rid of that second image, you can see everything over here. So it allows you the peripheral vision you need for tactical shooting. Thank you, and we'll see you on my next video.